let's take a look at the stages of team development. In this course, we'll describe each of group development stages and the tasks that groups may go through. However, not all groups progress through all stages, or they get stuck in one stage and never reach the group's full potential, so it's your job to help the team develop. Step 1. Orientation. The forming stage is characterized by low development level, high commitment, and low competence. When people first form a group, they tend to come to the group with a moderate to high commitment to the group. However, because they haven't worked together, they don't have the competence to achieve the tasks. Stage 2. Dissatisfaction. The storming stage is characterized by moderate development level, lower commitment, and some competence. As members work together for some time, they tend to become dissatisfied with the group. Members start to question, why am I a member? Is the group going to accomplish anything? Why don't other group members do what's expected, and so forth? Step 3. Resolution. The norming stage is characterized by a high development level, variable commitment, and high competence. As members develop competence, they also become more satisfied with the group and are committed to it. Relationships develop that satisfy group members' affiliation needs. Stage 4. Production. The performing stage is characterized by outstanding development level, high commitment, and high competence. The high commitment enhances productivity and performance, and does the high competence level as well. Stage 5. Termination. In functional groups, the adjourning stage is not reached unless there is some drastic organization, reorganization, or change. However, it does occur in task groups. During this stage, members experience feelings about leaving the group. The two key variables identified through each stage of group development are work on task, competence, and the social tone or morale, commitment. The two variables do not progress in the same manner. Competence tends to continue to increase through each of the four stages, while commitment tends to start high at stage 1, drop in stage 2, and then rise through stages 3 and 4.